All right, we're back two days in a row. Two podcasts two in a row. Good We've great. been hard at it. But, hard uh, at it is right, brother. But if you hear that music, I'm only going to touch on this for a second. If you hear that music playing under us, we both are in radio. So we're used to every time we crack open the mic, um, we have some kind of music playing behind us. Uh, we had one very nice young lady tell us that it was extremely too loud, which was odd because this little tab goes up to 100, and I've got it barely at 10 right now. So uh, one gentleman commented back and said, no, it didn't sound too loud at all. So let us know if that music, because maybe there's a sound issue that we can't hear on our end. But if that music is too loud, let us know, and I'll try to correct the issue. Otherwise, we just don't feel right if we don't have a little music playing under us when we first start out. It builds the momentum. There you go, yeah. Momentum. But so we're back today to talk about Rick Grimes and his exit from the show. Yesterday we were talking more about Andrew Lincoln, more so than Rick Grimes. Just it's, uh, You have to check out the video. It's a, it's a video we were talking about. I think it's called, uh, we put it out yesterday, I believe it's called um, Andrew Lincoln coming back for season 10, um, which there's rumors he is, but it might not be what you think. Just go watch that and uh, and then come back or watch that after this. But, um, but yeah, so we're going to talk today about... Uh, ways that Rick Grimes might be killed or, you know, why he might exit the show. There's a lot of interesting theories out there. We, um, we're we just going to kind of run through some of the ones that we've seen and maybe some ideas we have. Uh, and check this out. We're going to start with the least likely scenario, in my opinion. But JP has a very interesting uh, theory that involves Rick and cybernetics. Well, you know there was a uh, there was an issue in the comics, and this is like pre issue one hundred, I think. So you know, if you're not caught up on the comics, spoilers. I know we have a lot also of, obviously show spoilers. Right? Yeah, yeah, we have a lot. Of, you know, every now and then you get a big cry baby. You know, oh spoilers, spoilers. I heard a spoiler. I have a life too. You know, I can't always get caught up on the show or the comic. Yeah. Let's be real, pal. You, you know, you have a life. You're not out here doing, you know, like like saving stray dogs. You're doing volunteer work. You, you're just allotting your, your reading time to Pornhub or something. I mean. May I say that this podcast would just be empty without your rants? Look, all I'm saying is I you know, get off your rants. eye horse, you spoiler Nazis. Oh, I have a life. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry. I love it. Please. I'm just saying, man. This is you your know. role. My my role on this podcast is just to kind of keep it rolling. You're <laughs> you're doing exactly what you do best. So you you do your thing, man. Oh, I well, live for your rants. I'm j- I'm just saying. I get tired. Of, you know, stay stay off the internet if if you don't have time to catch up on your favorite uh, series or book or whatever. Well, especially when it's, it's parts of the comics that came out like well over a year or two ago. ago. I mean, it's yeah. it's one thing if we. The comic comes out yesterday or earlier this week, and we just blurt out a huge, you know, game-changing spoiler. But, I mean, if we mentioned something that happened years ago, then yeah. sorry. I mean, I, you know. But so just to be fair, we are giving you the warning just in case you do plan to at some point pick up the comics. I just feel like if you really wanted to read the comics, they've been going for 15 years now. I feel like at some point already you would have picked them up. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, cut back on the incest porn and uh, open up a comic book. <laughs> I mean, not that it's not vivacious, it's just the forbidden fruit of it all. But anyway, what you, you know. The cybernetic theory. Right, Let's right, hear no, it. Yeah. Well, no, in, in the comic a while back, like after the uh, issue ends and after, I think it was even after the comment section, the other, uh, the, you know, the mailbox section, like uh, Rick wakes up from his coma and it's actually in color. And Ooh. like it reveals that the zombie apocalypse is due to an alien invasion, and the governor comes back, and uh, I just think that you know maybe he'll uh, he'll wake up and uh, was that just kind of like a spoof, like a what? Yeah, if? yeah, oh yeah. Because at that you know. point, I, I didn't start reading the comics until after issue hundred. I, I read them, but I was always reading the trade paperbacks or the the hard covers were my right. favorite. I st- even though I do get the issues individually, I still buy those hard covers just to keep having the collection. But so up to that point, I didn't catch little fun extras and things like that. I just was reading because I started reading it probably back around not long after the because I, I don't want to be a hipster and be like, I read it long. But I started reading it after season one. You know what I mean? Season right. one came out. I absolutely loved the show. So I was like, I want to read the source material. So that's when I got into it. But I was reading like the I've got a compendium one of mm-hmm. the, from like seasons. I mean, uh uh, chapters like one through four or whatever yeah. volumes one through four but anyway so i didn't see that so that's kind of like a what if just kind of fun thing yeah yeah i, I started reading i think it was a, a trade paperbacks up until issue 49 mm-hmm. right after the prison saga 
But uh, yeah, yeah. So who knows? Maybe it could be a whole different show. He'll wake up and like Rick Grimes will be recast and there'll be aliens and cyborgs and maybe even dinosaurs. It's one of those things where back in the day I thought he could be recast, but I, I, I just nobody could do it like Andrew Lincoln. He's he's such a he's grown so much as an actor, too. I mean, I ain't say, I'm not saying he wasn't good in the beginning, but I mean, you look at season one, Rick, up to now, man, and he's just really. You know, some people came in and just were were like Denai Guerrero was awesome. Like, I mean, from the first oh, yeah. season of season three when Michonne showed up, I was like, oh, she's awesome. Like, she's an awesome act. She's so good at, at at showing emotion with her face. I mean, like Michonne, you can tell Denai Guerrero she feels whatever Michonne is supposed to be feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, like she's into it, man. And the same thing with Lenny James playing Morgan Jones. I mean, uh, so there are arenas, you know, but. Andrew Lincoln, I feel, was pretty good when the show started, and then up to this point now, he's incredible. Like his acting has just become phenomenal I, on the I show. Could still, I, I could recast him. Who would I you recast in, him with? All right, so this is my scenario. He, uh, you know, Maggie and Daryl confront him before they like conspire and attack him and all this stuff, which we'll get into that angle later. But uh, so yeah, they confront him, and and uh, Rick is just like, you know what? Screw you guys. Fine. I'll just leave. You know, I'll form my own even better community. And <laughs> even he just better. Uh, finds a, an abandoned trailer park and starts drinking a lot of whiskey and beer and smoking a lot of weed. And, you know, six <laughs> months later, he's like morphed into Danny McBride. And that's who you recast him as. And he's that's just this awesome. badass, you know, redneck, you know, doing whatever he wants. And it's just kind of like Eastbound and Down meets The Walking Dead. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. And that's why I said that's probably the least most likely theory. But hey, that's what I'd like to see. I mean, if you know, if you're gonna do these awful things to the show, why not just go totally over the top? You know, just <laughs> moving past that. Yeah. A more likely, but still something I feel that is unlikely okay. is that uh, Daryl and or Maggie will kill Rick because again, that was one of my biggest problems with last season. Was we go through the whole day? I just feel like sometimes I do have to agree with Matt. I, we don't really. Yeah, and if you want, if you're a new listener, Matt is another guy that podcasts with us. He just he comes in later to the station. By the time we're pretty much leaving, and it's just inconvenient for him to wake up, drive thirty. It's it's a big you know thing, but um, or no big thing, but that's you know we still love Matt, but that's why he's not doing these with us. And plus, Matt's just not a big fan of The Walking Dead. Not but so much. No. He he has said, and I do agree that it just feels like the the writing with Daryl goes around in circles. I mean, he really, and it, it could be said that could be said for other characters, but Daryl especially. I mean, him and Rick fight it out on the side of the road. He directly disobeys Rick's plans. You know, crashes a truck through the wall. Then he and Rick have this nice tender makeup or whatever um, mm. in the graveyard. It's always the best. And then a few episodes later, Daryl's in Maggie's office basically plotting against Rick. It's like, dude, I'm so sick of this character and him being... It's not that I don't like Norman Reedus. I think Norman Reedus is awesome. I just feel like Daryl has not been written that well in a while. But that's, again, just my opinion. Some people will want to tear you to pieces for not liking dear old Daryl. Yeah, well, I mean, Daryl definitely, like, screwed the pooch with the uh, sanctuary siege. Mm-hmm. I mean, all they have to do is, you know, man their ground, stand at the post, and, you know, make sure no saviors come out. Just right. starve them out. But no, Daryl's like, well, looks like ramming a truck through the side of the building worked just fine. Let's head on home, y'all. And see, I could even forgive, and he did, he did screw the po- screw the pooch on that, and I could, I could, Get the, you know, I could understand that. It's early, so I'm stumbling. I'm sorry. But my problem is we went through the whole makeup thing. Like, like what the hell? I mean, we, we just went through the... And they've been through so much together. Right, we just, just went through them fighting, and now they're back. A few episodes, it's like, figure out what you want to do with these characters, man. But anyways, that's just a... And again, I love the show, so, you know, please... Not to... I mean, people are super mean on YouTube, so I'm sure there's like, screw you, I love the one did. Which I do too, but I'm just saying Daryl and the writing with sometimes how they run these characters around in circles does get annoying. With Angela Kang now being the showrunner, it's it from what I've read, it seems like a lot of good things are on the way. So that might change. We might actually get some real character growth and right. stuff that we haven't seen in a few seasons. But anyways, but I don't think that would I mean Maggie is leaving too. And we do need to do a video or two on Maggie leaving because it's just been overshadowed by Rick leaving. Um, but, you know, Lauren Cohen's, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because we're not experts. We love discussing the show. Um, but I think that Lauren Cohen's only supposed to be in like six episodes, too. 
Hmm. So she's going to be gone soon, too. Maybe her and Rick kill each other. But I still think that will be as much as they've been through. I can understand them having a disagreement. I know that there's been a time jump, but I feel like if they had gotten to the point where Maggie wanted to kill Rick, there needs to be more time. Like, we need to see the rift growing. It doesn't just need to be, all right, this happened, boom. It's been a few months down the road. Maggie wants to kill Rick. Like, you need to show us that. That's a big ordeal. If Maggie kills Rick... Someone she's been with since season two, someone who she has love for, respects, someone that loves and respects her, would die for each other up to this point. You're going to have to show me the rift growing. You can't just like have the rift spread off screen and then be like, okay, so now here's where we are. Maggie wants to kill Rick. It's not as impactful, man. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, yeah. Maggie as a character should understand the repercussions of killing Negan, you know. I mean, after the battle's done, I mean, you, you turn him into a martyr, right? Uh, uh, essentially. Oh yeah, and, and I mean, it, it just it, is it just hurts the cause in general. Your your husband died in a very horrible way, and we hate that. I, I loved Glenn, and I, I really am just still bum that Glenn's gone. But at the same time, Rick lost his son too. I mean, you got to understand that. The, I'm not saying that one's better than the other, and I'm sure there's plenty of people that'll come to Maggie's defense and be like. It's different, and it is, but I'm saying you both lost someone, and you're both acting off of the emotion of losing someone. Rick is acting off of the emotion of losing his son, trying to fulfill his son's dream of a better world and make an example out of Negan, showing, hey, we're we're moving past the point where we just kill people we have disagreements with. We're moving towards a more civilized era in this transition, whereas Maggie's acting off of emotion and wants to kill Negan. Because he killed her husband. So, I mean, I get that you're mad at each other, but if the rift is going to grow so big that you want to kill Rick, I need to see that. I need at least a half season of growing animosity to Mm -hmm. get Maggie. Because Maggie's a very, she's mad, but Maggie's a very intelligent person, too. So, I mean, it's not like she would just be stupid enough to be like, I'm going to kill you, Rick, and then go after him. I feel like, I mean, I need like a season or so of like them growing apart to justify her just killing him. And Ma- Maggie's always kind of stood on the side of compassion and rationality. Right. You know, like when Herschel wanted to kick everyone off the farm. I mean, she's quoting Bible verses. Yeah. I mean, when they were when when she had to execute that savior that she sent back to the sanctuary as kind of like a f you to Negan. Um, she, that, that even though she did it and looked cold hearted, we saw from the camera angle of when she turned around that bothered her. You know what I mean? Like that hurt her just killing yeah. him. So. You know, that's why I say that's unlikely. Like, I'm not ranting or saying screw Maggie. What I'm saying is that's why I feel like that's not how it's going to happen. Now, the rift may be growing between them in the six episodes they have left, but I don't think that it'll get to the point where Maggie or Daryl will kill him. Again, we see another part of the trailer. Daryl and Rick are fighting it out again on the side of the road or whatever. So it's just like. Whatever, man. I'm over the Daryl thing, but so I don't know. I mean, but it is The Walking Dead. I'm not. It's not always the best writing in the world. So if they do that, I guess I'm not going to rule it out. But I don't think it's likely. Daryl, ju- he needs to get some butt, man. I don't know, girl butt, <laughs> boy butt. Daryl needs. He just needs some butt, right? Don't matter where. Yeah, it comes I think from. he'd chill, chill the f out a little bit. You know, <laughs> I, Maggie too, man. Maggie, get you some new dick, girl. <laughs> you know, I mean, everybody. I think everybody would be in a much. Better place, head cooler heads would prevail. That that's, that's just my. You thinking. just think sex is the answer to everything. I mean, after war, yeah. What what happened after World War Two? Americans came home and got busy, <laughs> made a and lot that, of babies. Yeah, that's what needs to happen right now. Everybody's <laughs> done killing each other. You know, get to fucking one another. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry for the language. I'm we sorry, usually don't throw the saying, F word in know? there. But, I mean, um, so basically what you're saying is make love, not war. The, thank you. Yes. There you a go. much That's... more elegant way of putting it. There yeah. you go. Uh, moving on. I, now, this more comic spoilers. These aren't big spoilers, but still, they are things to come if you're reading the comics. So be warned. But there is a point after the war with Negan where there's still animosity between uh, the saviors and like the Alexandrians, Hilltop, and all, more particularly like animosity towards Rick. Yeah. So there is a chance that he could be killed by a savior. There could be yeah. a savior that, you know, he gets into an argument with and and then a dude stabs or shoots him. You know, I mean, it's it's it. There's always that possibility. I, I really don't feel like that'll be it, because, again, that's a little too unceremonious for Rick. I feel like, you know, it's Rick Grimes. If he's going to be taken out, it needs to be something epic, not just a pissed off foot soldier. Mm-hmm. But I mean, then again, Rick, I mean, uh, Carl was killed off by a. 
random zombie, even after he spent his entire adolescence fighting these things, you know, two or three of them got the best best of him. But yeah, well, he, he could get like John Wilkes Booth. I mean, just yeah. a disgruntled, you know, a uh, soldier from the losing side. Just, you know, he does have six, six episodes. Yeah, they yeah. could spend six episodes showing like this one person's relationship, because in the comics, again, slight spoiler, there is a point which will lead into our next theory um, that this this kid's dad either gets killed or it's been so long since it's been a few years since I've read that. But, you know, these two guys are fed up with Rick. They don't like him. So they have this plot to, like, kill him, basically, or, or rough him up or something. I'm pretty sure they wanted to kill him. But right. anyways, Rick ends up, like, killing this kid's dad or, or whatever. And this kid is furious. So he goes to Negan and he's like, hey, you want Rick Grimes dead. I want Rick Grimes dead. I'm going to let you out. And we'll yeah. kill Rick together, basically. And Negan's like, okay, let me out. But then, again, spoiler, plot twist, Negan kills that kid. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he, you, that's what he, we find in the comic, at least, he had a lot of respect for Rick. But so maybe that's what's going to happen. Maybe Rick will, you know, we see that there's a lot of disputes amongst the communities, it seems, from the trailer. Maybe uh, something similar will play out. Rick will you know, kill the wrong person or beat up the wrong person, whatever. And then uh, as payback, you know, I don't think, do you think maybe Negan? Cause I mean, they've definitely varied off of the uh, source material here. Um, do you think that maybe Negan, when he breaks out, will kill Rick? That That's possible. Maybe Negan well. will get broken out and he'll kill Rick or he'll have some plot where he kills Rick. Cause I mean that Negan and the show and the comic are very similar, but they're also, they do have quite a bit of differences. So but, you know, that that would be something cool and different to do. Like, like uh, Rick's kind of killed at sort of a random sort of assassination, and the second half of the season's sort of like a murder mystery. I mean... Like he gets murdered, and you're trying to figure out who did it. Like, like we know who did it, but someone's like, you know, there's more to this than meets the eye, and he's trying to figure out, you know, who's exactly is behind the conspiracy, you know, kind of a JFK kind of thing. Like, right. you know, why did this happen? You know, this, I don't know. Bring in, like, a new character who... Who used to be like an FBI investigator, like like, like Harvey Cattell, bring him on the show. There you go. But you know, it's like, uh, and that and that could be it. But I, I feel like after, I feel like I hope that they've learned their lesson because after they did the whole "Who did Negan kill?" thing, I hope like the the mid season, you know, they wouldn't spend yeah. too long doing like a "Who done it" or leave us hanging for a few months on like "Who done it" once the mid season finale comes around, se- episode eight. So I, if they, you know, it'd be cool, like I said, if we knew who did it, but the survivors didn't know who did it, and they're kind of trying to, you know, solve it as it goes along. Right. I mean, I, I don't even necessarily think it should be like a like they know who did it. It's just somebody's like, you know, there's more to this than meets the eye, and he's trying to get to the bottom of it, you know, kind of a. But anyway, and then that won't happen. That, uh, there is the more likely chance that Rick will go out like Carl did. Rick will get bitten by a zombie. Maybe even he'll think of Carl when he goes out. Maybe he goes to help a stranger. Maybe he, you know, it's, it's, it's several, you know, it's a lot of scenarios that could put him in front of a walker, but maybe something happens and he goes to help someone like Carl would have. And in the same fashion as Carl, he gets bit and the episode, because I feel like mean, we know that John Bernthal has been spotted on set. So obviously there's probably going to be like a Shane. It's either going to be a flashback or a hallucination. If it's a hallucination, Odds are he's going to die. If it's a hallucination, he could survive, and it could just be like, you know, but I feel like if it's a hallucination, then he's probably going to die. Like, he's going to see Shane, and Shane's going to tell him, like, I told you you couldn't keep him alive. You know, yeah. Lori and Carl are both gone. You know, you're exactly what I thought you were going to be. And, you know, he's basically like, no, look what all I've done. Yeah, and, man. you know, it'll kind of be like he dies in peace knowing that, you know, he lost his family, but he did build help kickstart civilization once more that's true so i feel like that could be another uh, possibility and even stronger possibility the whisperers the yeah. whisperers are Threat on their way the woodwork yeah even if you don't read the comic i'm sure you've probably read up on the whisperers again as we discuss the whisperers there will be slight comic spoilers so be warned i'm sorry if you're getting annoyed by all the spoiler warnings like we get it but it's hard to discuss uh, right. everything people, without yeah, bringing up the source material. People just uh, get really mad. So, again, spoiler warning. But, uh, you know, the Whispers are, are going to be the new baddies. I love the part in the trailer where, they're, where you know, it's like Rosita and Eugene are, like, covered in mud, and you hear the Whispers, like, where are they? That was, that was yeah. really cool. But 
Um, it's it's a chance the Whispers. Maybe Rick gets into a fight with a few Walkers, and uh, you know the Whispers they like to stab a lot. They're very, They're very stabby people. Yeah. So Rick could get in there just taking out these Walkers, and all of a sudden one chunks him in the gut. You know what I mean? And then Rick's just kind of like bewildered, like what the hell just happened? And maybe mm-hmm. as Rick's dying, he'll tell people, "I was stabbed by a Walker." I'm, I'm, I'm you know, and they're like, "He's he must be losing his mind. Mm-hmm. Like it's the blood loss." So. I think that's what I think is more likely going to be. I think it's going to be a Walker bite or or the whispers. To be honest, Wade like me, that's that's what I feel. Yeah, like the ultimate threat. That's what they did with Negan. Brought him in and killed in the show two big characters in the comic. One, but still, you know, that's a trope that seems to work. Like letting you know that this new villain's not someone to be toyed with. First thing, first order of business, they take out someone important, and uh, you know who more important than Rick. That's true. I mean, and Maggie, that's the thing. Like, I don't, we're here to talk about Rick, but like Maggie, maybe Maggie and Rick both go similar ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe that's what pulls all the communities back together is this giant looming threat, you know, of the right. whispers. So. And I think I've read somewhere, and I don't know if it's confirmed or not. If you do, please let us know in the comments so we can mention it in the next video. But I think I've read that Lauren Cohen's going to be left, like, Maggie's going to be open ended. So she could possibly come back. Oh, She's got right. other projects and stuff she wants to do. And, so she, but but if she if that's not the case, and huge spoiler here. So if you don't want comic spoilers, this is a big one. So please, like, go away for a few minutes. Okay, you've been warned. The heads on the pike. When the whisperers showed up in the comics, there were tons of heads on the pikes, and there were yep. at least three very important ones, right? Or at least two. But there were tons of of heads on spikes. There were what a I'm lot saying. Of heads. I, I yeah, I can remember two big ones right, right. off the bat. Well, well, who bet? You know, maybe. Do you think maybe that's going to happen? It's going to be Rick and uh, Rick and, and Maggie's heads on spikes. Oh, God, side by side. It it could be, man. Um, then there's a chance that Rick won't die at all. Yeah, I mean, we have the uh, the helicopter mystery still looming. Yeah, we don't know what could be going on there. You could just, you know. Fly off on a helicopter, you know, kind of like a mash ending. I hope we get a little more explanation on that from Jadis, or Anne as her name actually, I guess, is. But um, there's a chance that Rick won't die. Maybe he gets injured and taken to the Commonwealth, um, which would be bringing the Commonwealth into this, I feel like, a lot a lot faster than they than the rate that they follow the comics. You know what I mean? Like, usually when they do something in the show, it's been done a few years ago in the comics. Mm-hmm. Like, it's in the Commonwealth, just that started, like, this year. So, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see them just s- skip some of the continuity up that far and just be like, you know, the Commonwealth, which could be um, where Georgie's from. Yeah. That, I liked that's... her character, man. I like to see her come back. She's very wise. Mm-hmm. I like her glasses. Hopefully we don't see a, her head on a pike. That would be sad. They're definitely not uh, prepared in that little hippie band for some no, of this reaction. She's lucky that I guess, I mean, that's why I guess they staked it out. But she was so lucky that it was Maggie and Michonne and them that she was dealing with. I mean, if it was like the saviors, they'd have been like, look, just shut up. Give us what you got or you're going to die. In yeah. fact, we are still going to kill one of you. But yeah. all of you will die if you don't give us what's in the van. Ugh. But I have knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take that, too. (laughs) But uh, there's a chance that Rick Grimes might not die. He might get on a helicopter. And, I mean, there's things to consider, though, when you think about that. Like, I feel like Rick's going to die. That's my personal opinion. But there's things to consider. I mean, if he just ups and leaves, does that mean he's taking Michonne with him? Him and Michonne are, like, in a whirlwind romance right now. And especially from the trailer, they're holding hands and just looking happy as ever. So I can't imagine he would just up and leave Michonne. Uh, to his daughter, if he leaves, that means he takes Judith. And I've read that Judith is going to be a big part of the story going forward. So I, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like him leaving with no no guarantee of coming back just wouldn't make sense to the story. I mean, if he was going to go off in a helicopter, maybe he was injured or going to meet the Commonwealth and try to establish a relationship with that community, that would mean he'd need to be back at some point. Right. And that would just be dumb writing because you know he's not coming back. So why would you write it like that? You know. Um, so I feel like he's going to die. As much as we hate it, I feel like it's going to happen. Uh, yeah, that seems to be the way it's going. Um, but so uh, I'm trying to think. Let's go over. So we've got your cybernetic theory. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the the alien dystopian future theory. That's there a possibility. You go. <laughs> uh, me, recasting as Danny McBride. That's another theory. That was in the same theory. Was it? Was that? that was, yeah, the that was parallel the same to theory. that theory. Yeah, yeah, that was in that theory. 
Um, and then we also had uh, the Maggie and Daryl theory, the Whisperer theory, the Savior theory, uh, the um, uh, the Revenge theory. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think because there's been so much out there. Just kind of trying to run through as many of them as I can think of. It's I've a whole gambit them, of possibilities. Seen them on everywhere from like Entertainment Weekly to um, ComicBook.com to Facebook pages. I'm in, but. Um, some really interesting theories out there, but I do feel like, I, like I said, I, I saw one theory and I wish this is not my theory. I repeat, not my theory. I wish I could think of the YouTuber who had this theory. I saw it a while back, but it's a really cool theory. Like the lone Walker theory. Look it up. The guy that, that did that, that came up with that theory. It's really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, just look up the Rick Grimes, lone Walker theory and, and you should be able to find it. Lone but basically, yeah. It's like basically, remember in season two when Rick and Shane are riding back from um, when they got to fighting and everything, when they were going to drop Randall off, and and Shane looks out in the field, and you see that random walker just walking alone, and we thought it was... Yeah, they like opening credits before, too. Right. We we, we felt like that was maybe supposed to be Shane, you know, like a representation of Shane feeling alone. Uh Uh-huh. But a lot of this guy's theory is that no, that represents Rick. And like, that's how The Walking Dead, that's how Rick Grimes' time is going to end. Like, he's not going to be turned into a walker and somebody kill him. He's going to turn into a walker and he's just going to wander off. Oh, my God. I mean, it's de- that's depressing to that's think about. Yeah. But I mean, that would be bittersweet. You know what I mean? Like, you see him, it's a slow death and he has time to kind of go over things in his head and look back on all he's accomplished and all those he's lost. And then at the end of the episode, he, Turns into a walker and just walks off alone into the sunset. Ooh, this is starting to sound very like Breaking Badish, you know. Yep, that's what I. I still, I, th- I think that's how I think we're gonna see a zombie, Rick. Yeah. But so yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there are any other theories that I that I've heard or maybe left out. I know there's a ton of them out there. I just want to kind of try to hit some of the the most common ones that I was that I had seen aside from the cybernetic one. That's probably the only place I've ever heard it. Well, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. But uh, is there anything you'd like to rant about before we leave? Because, again, uh, I love your rants. I, I'm pretty exhausted. I'll, I'll save it for the next one. I'll say it's pretty interesting on our video yesterday because we had a video like a month or two ago where it was like, is Rick Grimes, is Andrew Lincoln a douche for leaving The Walking Dead? And I said no, that as much as I hate to see him leave, I understand. I don't feel like he has any obligation to continue doing this. <coughs> Man, I can't wait till I'm not sick anymore. And you were like, screw Rick, screw Andrew Lincoln, like this is mm-hmm, selfish. And and like on that podcast, if you go to the comments section, the vast majority seemed to agree with me. They were like, it's not selfish. He wants to spend time with his wife and his kids. And then if you go to yesterday's podcast, man, JP had a lot of people in his corner. <laughs> a few didn't, but a lot right. were like, I'm with JP. I mean, I... I... I can't exhaust myself getting back into that, but yeah, listen to yesterday's <laughs> podcast if you're you're curious about you know thoughts on Andrew Lincoln abandoning uh, you know his post, abandoning his commitment and all, all this kind of stuff and yeah, just you know. But yeah, leave us a comment if you like talking about The Walking Dead. We don't really do list style videos. I meant to say that beforehand, but we do more discussion. I mean, it's, it's just very it's, free range. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'm not saying we won't ever do lists. Maybe one day we'll, when we do a video like this, we'll do like the top five ways Rick Grimes may leave The Walking Dead and do it all formatted and stuff. And maybe we will one day. But right now, this is just still more discussion because we're like actually hashing it out and diving into different things because there are a lot of great list channels on on youtube yeah like a lot of top five uh nukes top five um what is it list 10 um i'm trying to think there's one that i really like um and i can't think for the life of me the name of it but yeah there's a lot of great list channels so we just prefer to do more discussion for those that like to dive a little deeper but yes uh leave us a comment hit the subscribe button if you made it this long either you absolutely hate us so bad that you love us (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you just you, Howard Stern effect. You hate us so much that you stuck around um, just to find something to throw at us in the comment section, which is cool. We still appreciate you being here the whole time. Um, but if you've made it this far, um, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you do, don't forget to hit the bell beside the subscribe button so that you get a notification when we upload uh, new podcasts. And um, leave a comment, man. Uh, you know, whatever you want to say. Like the trolls, we get just as much enjoyment out of those. So. You know, you say whatever your heart desires. 
but let us know how you think it's going to happen, please. Like, I if, if we get some other good theories that I haven't heard, man, I'll do a whole other video based on the the comments section. You know what I mean? Like listener theories of how Rick Grimes will leave The Walking Dead. Yeah, so if you've got a theory we didn't mention, and I'm sure there's a ton out there, please put it in the comments section. If nothing else, comment just to say hello. Always, always like salutations. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. We're going to start doing our pull list podcast again for those comic fans out there. But right now it's some transition going on with the comic shop that we go to and we want to make sure that we have every like like yesterday, you know, there was an it was a little issue. It's not the owner's fault. It was a little issue with uh, with UPS. And um, so we didn't get everything and it would have been a huge pull list. So it would have been a great to pot. So we want to wait until everything's running smooth before we start doing that, just to make sure that we give you as much comic content as we can. So, yeah, for those of you that do read comics, don't worry, that's coming back. I'm sure you're just losing sleep over it. I know I am, brother. If you had just dropped the money I dropped on Batman Damned number one. The Batwang. Yeah. You if you don't understand. know what we're talking about, Jesus. just Google Batman Damned. There's a lot of controversy over Batman's penis right now in the so, comic world. Like, legitimate. To that. Didn't get it. Had to get it on eBay. And yeah, I'll be eating beanie weenies for about a month. Not when you sell it. I mean, you know, <laughs> sell comics. Oh, God, no. But we will catch you soon, I promise. Thank you so much for listening and hanging out with us for the past 30 minutes. I'm Justin. And I'm JP. And we're the Podcasting Dead. Yeah.